So this is Clem Costin of the Edmonton Oilers. For the pregame media scrum against the Blues today, he made this comment to both Jim Matheson and Mark Spector. Did you still pay attention to how St. Louis does in the games? Oh, I think the fans don't like your questions, eh? In the, on a Twitter, yeah. I saw it. You need you, you need to change something. <laughs> I just uh, yeah, I just saw like uh, the the fans don't don't like your question, guys. So you you need to you need to think about it. <laughs> Now, a little background here. Both reporters covered the Oilers, and Jim Matheson has actually been a part of the Oilers media since their inception back in 1979. Maybe you saw this clip of Dreisaitl circulating earlier this year. Would you like to expand on that? No. You can do that. You know everything. Why are you so pissy, Leon? Hmm? Why are you so pissy? I'm not. I'm just answering your question. Yeah, you are. Whenever I ask you a question. I gave you an answer. Not very good one. Yeah, that was Jim Matheson. Not the most popular of guys these days. So again, as the Oilers host the Blues in tonight's matchup, Clem Costin became a bit of a media target as journalists made the storyline of Costin playing his former team. See, Costin was the 31st pick of the 2017 draft by the St. Louis Blues. He didn't exactly hit it off with the Blues though, playing just 46 games since being drafted, amassing 5 goals and 6 assists, which led to him being traded to the Oilers back in October. That trade has essentially been casted as his second chance to find a spot in the NHL. So anyway, back to the interview. Let's take a listen to their questions. You don't have this like, oh, I want to prove they were wrong to trade me attitude or anything like that? Uh, does this matter to you? Is this a big deal you're playing St. Louis? What do you think? Did you uh, enjoy your time with St. Louis? What part didn't you enjoy then? Why do you think it's going so well for you here? Now, it's not like the questions here are inherently bad, so to speak, but it's more so about how many times can you answer the same question over and over. Now, the interview also had a few other gems. Like, seriously, I don't, I don't have a answer on this. Like, you need to ask coaching stuff in St. Louis. <laughs> have you been enjoying, enjoying your time in Edmonton? Of course. I told you before, guys, I'm really enjoying the time here. So while Costin isn't exactly a superstar by any means, and his future with the Oilers also isn't solidified by any means, when Clem says he's been reading Twitter and fans don't like their questions, he's essentially speaking for the people, right to the guy's face. These guys aren't exactly popular amongst many fans, so this lets them be heard. That's going to win over a lot of fan base support, I would imagine. He did this entire interview with a bit of a smirk on his face like he knows he's trolling them. And obviously, I can't imagine either of these guys are too happy about being called out. So it was also kind of funny with Spec almost appearing to mock him for using Twitter. You spent a lot of time on Twitter? I don't know, this interview was just gold all around. Now, a bit unrelated, Costin interrupted a media scrum with Connor McDavid in hilarious fashion using a stick as a mic. Honestly, he just seems like a fun guy to have in the locker room. So anyway, that was just a fun little clip that got recommended to me earlier that I wanted to show you guys. And let me know if you like these kinds of videos or not. And just in general, let me know what you guys want to see from me. And I will see you in the next one.